Hey guys, today I am checking out a lens that was sent to me by Makey. This is the 85mm macro full frame f2.8 lens. Here's what comes in the box. Here is the box that the lens comes in. It is slightly damaged from shipping, as you can see. 85mm macro full frame f2.8 multi-coated. Nice picture of the lens on the front with the lens hood. More info on this side. Another picture on this side and then specifications, so you can pause and read. So let's open this up. So you've got some padding here, a little microfiber cleaning cloth, padded uh, little pouch for the lens, some paperwork here, how to use it, I guess. Very cool. And the lens itself. So here we are. So let me start taking some of this stuff off. So here's the lens hood, it's plastic. Uh, Makey branded. Lens with the lens hood looks quite large. Front lens cap. Very interesting front lens element. You could see the aperture blades are very close to the front lens element. On the back, wow. It's like a long tunnel. All right, so on the side, Makey macro lens, 85 mil, 2.8. And you have uh, two focusing rings and then the aperture ring here. Around the front, we have Makey uh, multi-coated, same thing macro, 1.5 to 1, 55 millimeter filter thread. So let's see, yeah, there is the aperture, very smooth. And it goes from 2.8 all the way to f22. So quite nice. I like the red ring accent, Canon L lens-esque. And then, let's see, focus ring, smooth. Wow, what is happening here? So this is what I'm assuming is the macro side of the lens. Wow. So this is the normal focus ring here. It's about a quarter turn, I'd have to say, from infinity all the way to 0.25 of a meter. And then this is uh, very, very interesting from infinity 2.26 and then you have looks like magnification 1.5 to 1, 1.3 to 1, 1 to 1. So I'm definitely excited to see what this lens is capable of. Adding it all together it is uh, quite a long long piece of glass here. So here is the lens mounted on my a6000 as you can see, it is very large and it is quite heavy as well. So you can extend this and that is how long the whole thing is. Here is the front lens element once again. Some interesting blue and green color. It does say multi-coated. Red ring up front. Again, aperture control. Your focus ring. Quite stiff for focus, but it seems to work all right. And then again, the magnification extension. So now let's check out some sample photos and videos using this lens.
When I initially got this lens from Makey, I was very excited about it because I thought, hey, look at this. You have a portrait and a macro lens all in one, which is really cool. After using it for a couple of days, I realized that it really is better suited to just be a macro lens. And I'll talk about why here in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the macro capabilities. Now, with this ring, you can choose to take photos at 1 to 1 magnification, 1.3 to 1, or 1.5 to 1. What that means in practice is that you can really magnify what you're trying to take a macro photo of. Using this lens for macro photography is pretty fun because you get to be really close to your subject. You get a lot of creamy bokeh in the background because you're using an f2.8 lens. Focusing is accomplished quite easily. So as a macro lens, this is great. There are not many options out there for the Sony E-mount as far as macro lenses are concerned. So definitely check it out if you're looking for an 85 millimeter macro. Now let's talk about using this lens as an 85 millimeter portrait lens. There are two problems with this. Number one is there is an immense amount of flaring that I found using this lens. I think it has to do with the design of the front element. It's kind of cool in a way, but it's also kind of detrimental in another way. So I didn't use a lens hood when I was taking these photos, but even if I did, this lens would still be a lens flare king. The second and biggest problem with using this 85 millimeter lens as a portrait lens is the focusing ring. Let me show you what I mean. When using this lens as a macro, this is what you have as far as focusing. You have about a quarter turn from here all the way to here. Now, if you are using this as a portrait lens, this is what you get. That is one meter and that is infinity. You heard that right. So one meter to infinity, one meter to infinity you're literally looking at about a half centimeter, maybe slightly more, to try to focus your subject, no matter how far the subject is away from you, between one meter in front of you and infinity. So inevitably, when you're trying to shoot a portrait, this is what happens. You zoom in and out, you miss the focus, you come back, you go too far, too little, too far. It's so difficult to nail down that slight focus. And even when you do, you're always questioning, should I have moved a micromillimeter more to get it correctly in focus? So I would not recommend this as a portrait lens. While it can shoot some portrait pictures, I found that in the majority of my sample pictures, a lot of them were not correctly focused, simply because it's so difficult to focus between that little range that is given to you right there. So in conclusion, I applaud Makey for creating this lens. I think it's very cool, very unique. I haven't seen something like this before. Definitely innovative. And I look forward to what they create next. I think that the second version of a lens like this could be really great as a portrait and a macro in one if they can fine tune the focus and give the user more range. So definitely some possibilities there, um, but for the time being, it's really only a macro lens. If you are in the market for that, great, check it out. I'll post an Amazon link down below. If you guys have any questions about this lens, please comment down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the likes and all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.